Final. Oh, two point five. Alright, so just a disclaimer, this is an unorthodox build and was not made to compete with uh, meta builds. Alright, so these are the basic stats. So here you want this aspect, so you'll have two charges for your death bow. Barrier for additional defense armor. Hammer of the Ancients for good damage. So we have leap, which is very important for this build, and uh, the reset for the leap, which I'll explain later. Stump for stunning enemies. Now the rest here will be uh, self-explanatory. For your expertise, you want the two-handed axe expertise, so you can take advantage of the 15% increased damage to vulnerable enemies and bonus increased crit chance. As for the skill tree, you want to go for bash. You want to stun the enemies more. Um, fortification is also good, and you gain more fury when bashing. Hammer of the Ancients is very good for damage. You'd also want this because you want your enemies to be vulnerable. And this one for more fury regeneration. Stomp for stunning. Here you want to have leap um, and make sure is it like the third one so enemy will be slowed now you'd want this for your berserking so death bow will be our finisher and this is the one that deals a great amount of damage so basically as long as the enemy is killed after you um, hit him with a death blow the death blow cooldown will uh, reset. Now since this is a berserker build or berserking build, you want this as well. Now since we're using two-handed weapons, you want this as well as this. And for blunging weapons, this one. And of course for berserking reasons. This one. Since I'm just level 73, you'll notice how my board isn't that spectacular yet. But you want to increase your two handed uh, weapon damage. Um, if you have an axe, you can switch this. Um, you also want two handed slashing weapons. Um, of course, physical damage. You want more strength on your board. Vulnerable damage is also important. And here you'll notice I'm still working on my Berserk uh, board. 
more berserk and damage and strength. So important note, if you are using um, a two-handed axe, let me switch this for you. Um, make sure to cycle your weapon um, at the arsenal selection screen. This one, so you can you can swap the weapons if you want the two-handed uh, bludgeoning, the two-wielded. You see right there, and this one, the axe. Um, what this does is this will activate the axe expertise bonus the 10% um, critical chance so let's now talk about how the the reset leap on this build is very important as you know um, you gain berserking whenever you do brawling skill so basically every time you leap and hit the enemy you get three seconds um, berserking time then before the three seconds end you just stomp and then it will reset your leap. Also, when your death blow hits an enemy, um, it gives you another 3 seconds of berserking time, as well as your next core skill will make enemies vulnerable. Uh, with this mechanic, basically your berserk will be a 100% uptime, which will be shown on the next clip. Random so below is the icon uh, below. That is a preserved icon. You see, it's hundred percent uptime. Again, as a reminder, this build is not in any way better than meta builds. I just made it for fun because I just want to smash. I hope you guys like the video. I would appreciate it. If you hit the like button and subscribe, have a good one. Farewell.